welcome back YouTubers, uh, we're in the armory again. Uh, what's happening today you might ask is a very good question. Somebody has kindly done this to me. No, it's not a radio, nor is it cat food. Someone has extremely kindly brought me an airsoft jigsaw puzzle to play with. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Now, the only memo I got with this is all the bits are there, and can you make it work, and can you make the pop up effective? So, the first challenge is to find out why it stopped working and what encouraged them to pull it apart in the first place. So, yeah, let's go through a few steps and see if we can identify where the problem is and make it all good. Okay, so from the pile of bits, let's try and simplify it. Let's get rid of bits we do not need for now. So we won't need a mag, we're not going to need enough of a receiver, not going to need that. Okay, body pins and stuff are going to be important when we put it back together. So we won't need those for a minute. No, no, no. Mm, maybe this. Do the battle later. Uh, battery might come in useful. Body pin. Now. Okay, it, let's see if this works first. There's an easy way to do this. So fingers crossed, this will cycle and make me slightly happy about the whole thing. If I can get the terminals to work. Ready? Okay, that is fine. That means the problem's going to be here. Uh, now there is a simple thing we'll check first off, and that is that these have a fuse in the stock. Now it could be, it could be, visually it looks fine, annoyingly, however, okay, so there's nothing wrong with that fuse, so it isn't the fuse that's a problem. Yeah, right, so that then means the problem has to be within the trigger cell. Now it's either going to be a wiring thing or a trigger contact problem. So it all seems to function and move properly. So the only way to do it is going to be to rip all of that out and have a look. That's it. Right, pay attention because I'm going to need your help to put this back together shortly. So all of that looks fine in there. Okay, so I'm pretty confident everything is correct in there. That we know is working because we've seen that work. The only thing I can think is something that's not quite aligned when it's all put together, uh, causing the trigger to stop functioning. So let's just do an assembly on the whole thing and just see where we're at.
after the first failed attempt of uh, putting all that together, having checked everything, and then it not doing anything, um, I proceeded to go through it all again, which obviously you didn't need to see. Um, but it turns out, it looks like one of the main problems, which went overlooked the first time I took it apart, was one of the battery connections, as the battery pushes in, was just fractionally out. So it wasn't actually making connection uh, after all that. Uh, but now, full auto. So we fixed the problem of it not firing. All we're gonna do now is upgrade the hop up. Uh, or make the hop up better in some way, um, and yeah, and then just give it a little test fire. But we are, we are hopefully on the final straight now. Here we go. Right, we're going to give the barrel a little clean, and we're going to give the hop a little clean, and then what I intend to do, because apparently this is not hopping anything more than a point two, because the moment you put the hop up on too much, it jams everything up, and I think that is due to this having a very unforgiving plastic nub there. Now I've been asked if I can make something a little bit more perhaps usable. Um, so what I intend to do is shave that off and we can put a little bit of rubber in there in place of uh, which is just going to be a little bit more forgiving in with the BBs going through and hopefully uh, allow the gun to hop something higher than a point two without jamming up. Um, so yeah let's do that and then um, put it all back together. Just before we put it back together, this is what we've done with the hop. Uh, we cut the original plastic nub off and we've now got glued on there a little kind of rubber block which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's squishy. So that hopefully is going to be more useful uh, with the hop. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be anything fancy uh, purely because the hop up rubber is very, very basic and there's not much we can do uh, to change that really um, on this one. Um, so yeah, that it's just going to push down on there and that just pushes down on the very kind of standard style nub inside the barrel. There it is, from a box of bits to a now working gun. Um, so there we go. Um, it turns out the problem with that, I think overall, uh, after having taken everything apart and checking absolutely every component on it, um, I think with the battery was going in, one of the connectors wasn't quite making contact with it, which meant no power um, so that I think was the overall problem um, but it has had a full strip down rebuild uh, we've done a little modification on the hop up so hopefully it makes it more effective uh, with a slightly heavier armor you're never going to want to use too heavy with that because it is only firing about 260 uh, on point twos anyway uh, but that now quite happily so yeah good as gold another one done see you soon